Oops, my category's wrong. Let me just make sure everything is up to date. Come on, update. There we go. And my audio sounds okay. And my audio sounds okay. Let me make sure my subtitles are running. They are. I think we are good to go. So, the last time we left off, we were here. Let's check out this enemy. I'm hoping that tonight is, er, hoping makes it sound like I'm like not enjoying this maybe. I am enjoying playing the game, but I'm thinking this might be the last night of Persona 3. We're so close to the end, I feel like there's only so much more stuff that could be happening at this point. So I think... Let's try that. Okay, ice is bad. Don't do ice. That's bad. So, if we survive to our next turn, I think what we're looking at is, oh interesting, they have evade fire, would that mean they're weak to fire? So I'm worried about Aki. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. To avoid the fire damage, we want Isha Moan Ten. Probably. Hold on. Oh right, that's not gonna tell us anything. Um, Give me a sec. I'll scan the target.
Like, I want to heal everybody. How many bead chains do we have? Two. Let's switch to Bishamon 10 and use a bead chain. I hate to do that. But it does seem like our best path out of this. Okay, now that we know he can knock things down, we should have him on knockdown. 100%. Good evening, Fridays. Hope your Wednesday's going well. Uh, let's go knock down, knock down. Let's try for this. Okay. And Revival Bead or Bomb of Life? I think we Revival Bead Akihiko. I will take a chance on the, uh, whatchamacallit. I'll take a chance on this guy doing something. Yeah, there we go. So, I think we are low on SP, which is not great. I could do two Ragnaroks here, but that would be literally all of my SP. Let's go for it. Ah, good. <laughs> At least we won't die. At least not right away. Secunda will help. Let's just Revival Beat Metis. Been going good. We actually just got started. Uh, so you haven't missed much. I'm fingers crossed thinking we can get through this tonight. It depends on how difficult the boss fights are going to be in this last dungeon, but I'm not too worried so far. Like, this one's difficult, but it's manageable. Worst case scenario, I would say we might have to restart once and come in with more SP, but that's still not terrible. Yeah, I'll use a turn to restore my SP. I thought that was the item that gave 100 SP. Uh, oops. Well, hopefully we're all right. Persona. 
Now, Metis, why would you do that when you're poisoned? That seems not great. Uh, so it puts us in a risky position, but I think the move here is... Which one had... Um, Rita. Oh, Odin has it. And Odin's not a bad pick. Uh, yeah, I think Odin... Odin's not... Oh, Odin's weak to wind. Oh, Catherine. He decided to play Catherine. Yeah, that's... I've actually never played Catherine, but I'm familiar with it. Yeah, it's a little, uh... Risqué, I guess you could say. That's like the fancy way of saying <laughs> adult. Uh... I got greedy there, and I should not have. At least they're wasting turns. Okay. This time, I think it might be best if I take no chances. <laughs> Yeah, I've heard it's really good. I've heard it's like a really challenging puzzle game. Sorry to keep you waiting. I mean, I know it's a puzzle game, but I've heard it's challenging. One of these days I'll have to sit down and play it. We are, like, not in a good position here. I swear, their, like, evade chance with this evade fire thing is much higher than evade fire should normally give. That or I'm just getting really unlucky. It's hard as hell. I feel like we're using too many revival items at this stage of the fight, but it's still worth a try. Okay. This attempt went poorly, but I think we can still pull this off. It's just going to take a little more work. But yeah, Catherine looks really interesting. Uh... And it's like the puzzle, the puzzle aspect is like, like the fact that you have to build your own sort of staircase with the blocks you pull out and stuff. It just seems like it would be really difficult, especially because I know there's like parts of the game where you kind of have to do it. I think the whole game is under a time crunch of some kind, right? But like... There are some levels where there's like stuff chasing you 
or whatnot. That probably makes it even harder. So this time we're going to go into this fight prepared. We already know we want Bishamon 10. Let's just switch now. I might even use a precious egg. Much as I hate to waste such a limited resource. So if we go in with full SP this time and can't do it, then I probably do need to level up, but I'm hoping I don't. That's good that the puzzles are fun. Are you playing the, uh, I think it's called full body, the like remake version, or are you just playing the like basic Catherine? Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, honestly, given that they have evade fire, maybe just using Agudine is the move because like a Ragnarok missing is such a huge loss in SP. because it was on Steam. Yeah, that's... That's cool. Because I think uh, the remake version is like PS4 exclusive, right? Okay, we're getting a little luckier with the knockdowns this time. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Also on Switch. Ooh. That's actually kind of tempting. Because uh, I don't know how like difficult... Uh, or not difficult. Like, uh, like, I don't know how long a level of Catherine is, but I feel like usually with puzzle games, I do prefer to play them like on the go or something like that. So maybe that would be the move, is get the Switch version. kind of tempted to put Akihiko on. Like what frustrates me here is I could either put Akihiko on knockdown and just not have anybody healing or doing support stuff. Or I keep him on heal and support. I can't just put him on act freely to sometimes damage and sometimes heal because he'll damage the knocked down enemies already. There we go. I'm just gonna try fire on this thing. Okay. It's like not insignificant damage. Levels differ in length. Okay. Careful, the enemy's going to attack. Oh, they got Megidola. That's bad. 
I hate to have to go grind, but we may have to go grind. Like, let me do one thing. Let me cheat. I'm going to look at the uh, boss's weaknesses. We obviously know one of them is weak to fire. But does that main boss have any weaknesses? Because if it does, we can start exploiting them. If it doesn't, then we probably need to... Uh... Let's see. Rebellious Cyclops, what are you weak to, if anything? You are not weak to anything. Okay. I guess what I'm thinking about in the back of my mind is like... Like, how much of our loss so far is, like... to do with... Ooh, wait. Never mind, I have a plan. It's not a good plan, but it is a plan. So the main boss is not weak to anything, but I have discovered through the magic of the internet that those two other enemies are weak to electricity and fire. So if I take that gamble I talked about where I have Akihiko on knockdown instead of on, what's it called? heal and support we have more chances to knock down the enemy and that means i can use uh odin instead of bishamonten if i want which i actually might because odin has spell master The tactics. We're actually going to put everybody on knockdown. We're going to switch to Odin. We're going to analyze the Archeron Seekers. I hope I pronounced that right. I am going to try for Thunder Reigns here because it is stronger and the guaranteed thing is hard to pass up. I think keeping ourselves off the status effects is like almost priority one. Nice. Target. 
I'm gonna try for it. Get another crit here, that would be perfect. The enemies return to normal. Sorry to keep you waiting. Okay, that's it's not bad, but it is maybe a problem. the knockdown here if we can get it. Nice. Now we want... I mean, this will connect. It doesn't have evade. Now we just need a knockdown from Metis. That is not the right... You know what? They're not going to do physical attacks on that other one if I analyze it. That was a relatively big oversight on my part. Like, they're just going to choose not to attack this thing. That's a problem. Okay, let me think. Okay. So here's the conundrum. I think we can do this. The main sort of question here is... Uh... We kind of depend on a, like, good turn order here. Like, what we specifically want is I guess, and then we want our whole team to go a turn before the enemies do, basically. Yeah, basically. And this is the frustrating thing too, is I don't even know how much going and grinding a few more levels out would even do for me here. Like I could grind out a few more levels, but then it's like, we're still relying on like the strategy doesn't change we just have slightly better numbers so we don't have to do the strategy as long Understood. honestly the like the move move would be swap metis out for another party member for this fight but uh we don't have the luxury of doing that because i have not been leveling party members evenly with us which wasn't a problem until now. 
So we're gonna analyze the Archon Seekers and we are going to try to knock them down. It also occurs to me I did not restore my SP before coming back in here like I did the other times. But I think we can work with that. It's not like good, but we can work with it. Okay, this is a bad turn order. We're probably going to lose anyway. Because all of the enemies are going right after me. So even if I can set up the Cyclops to be knocked down, it won't happen. I think at this point our goal is just do as much damage as possible. Try for it. The enemy. Okay, that's bad. That is the thing I have been worried about almost this whole time. That's the thing, like, we're literally just dealing with RNG here. There are, like, little adjustments I can make here and there to make our strategy better, but it really is, at the end of the day, just... We either knock them down or we lose. And they have, like, triple the evasion rate against stuff that knocks them down. Like, so far we're doing okay. Honestly, this fight is just going well enough that I'm willing to use a Soma on this. Because we'll still have two for the final boss, assuming I don't use any more or get any more. And two Somas I think should be enough for like a final boss fight. I almost wonder if I should examine the enemy now just to get them to stop attacking into it. Like, my plan was to have them knock that thing down, but now that they can't, uh, maybe that's not such a good move. Ooh, what is going on with my stream quality here? Something's happening to it. Let me just like chill for a second, see if that fixes it. Running a speed test, I've also heard sometimes unsticks it if it's like an ISP thing, so let me try that.
Why is my upload speed so terrible? Okay, tell you what. I'm just going to keep going, and if the stream keeps cutting out, I'll try to do something about it. But it looks like it's back now. Uh, okay. Rethinking the strategy now. I think the move here while we have the health to do it is to dispoison ourselves. Like, we have the health to do it, and two of the enemies were knocked down. The enemies return to normal. Ooh. Nice one, Metis. Okay. We maybe don't need the knockdown here, but it would be very good to get the knockdown here. There we go. I think we even do a bomb of life here. I am that concerned about keeping everybody on relatively full life. Nice. I think this time we just do big damage to this guy. The enemy. Power charge is bad. Careful. The enemy's going to attack. Can't let my guard down. I am like very tempted to throw up a physical mirror on my turn. Okay. Do I risk the big blowout physical skill or do I check it out? I think. How many physical mirrors do we have? Four. Let's do it. I am just concerned enough about. See, that was worth it. Now it's like almost dead. Okay, this is not a good situation to be in, but we have come so close. One of them is gone. I want to believe that this is the this is the moment. Okay. This worked so well last time, I feel like we have to do it again. Did I see that correctly? It is dead! We just need to get this last one. Please, any knockdown does it. We did it. 
so that took longer than I thought, but that wasn't terrible. I think we might be able to power through to, uh, whatchamacallit, the final boss tonight if I don't waste any time on the last boss of this dungeon. Which I think there is still one more, if I remember from what I just saw on the wiki, like 15 minutes ago or whatever it was. And we did get a Soma back. Uh, I forget if this was the run where we used one, but... Uh, if we used it, we replaced it. If we didn't use it, then we have an extra one. That's good. Like, we should save... Because we definitely don't want to do that again. And we should probably fuse some extra personas if we can. I also want to check if we have any weapons for sale, but I think we are like kind of done with that. So there should be, oh, we've got a glorious coin and two all seeing eyes. Okay, yeah, that's already as good as it's going to get. And I think upgrading the armor on Medicine Igis, it would actually be better to wait and go find gear that's got like stats on it. Uh, one thing we will do though, let's see if we can replenish our bead chain supply or any item supply really. Uh, we cannot. We do not have that much. Uh, maybe I'll buy some more revival items and whatnot. There we go, we got 20 revival beads. We should have no trouble. Honestly, I might even like max out on medicinal powders and stuff so we can heal outside of combat uh, without using any SP. That seems like a worthwhile use of money, especially because we're not really hurting for money anymore. Hmm. Save one more time. And then let's check the velvet room. Make a Thanatos, a Raphael. Let me see what the triangle spread can do. Like, what if I take Bishamonten and Odin and try to make something else? Satan Taise is not very good. Never mind. What about Addis? Addis is not bad, but it would take a lot to pass on the stuff we want for it. What about Seth? I 
think honestly, if we really want... Ah, oh, these two don't fuse into anything. That sucks. So we would have to turn them into something. We could pass on Ragnarok and Spellmaster. That's actually, like, pretty close to everything I would want it to have. And its weaknesses are, like, not good, but not bad either. We'll probably be here, like, all day if I try to actually pass all that on to one persona, though. Like, I was honestly probably pretty lucky to just get Ragnarok and Spell Master. But I really want, uh... What's it called? Like, I really want Ragnarok, Spellmaster, and Thunder Rain, if I can manage it. Uh, honestly, let's just worry about other Personas for now. Maybe I can fuse this Odin into something else that can then pass on Spellmaster. Spellmaster and Thunder Rain... Ooh, this would not, or never mind, weak to strike is kind of a bad move. What if I just take some of these, like, junk personas that we do not need and try to fuse them into something a little higher level? Like a Siegfried. That passes on a lot of phys that's like a lot of physical skills. I don't want to be making stuff that's physical skill based. Thanatos would not be bad. But we definitely want Ragnarok on that thing if we make it. What if I take that and that and that? Making a Scathatch seems not bad. I think... No, I keep thinking Scathatch learns Niflheim, like the Severe Ice spell, and I think that's actually not Scathatch in this game. I think it is in a different one, but it's not this one. Ooh, this can make some. This can make uh, Susano. Which we probably won't even be able to use, but that's something. Ooh, Cory. This would be a very good healing persona. Uh. The only thing that gives me some amount of pause is that I feel like I would want at least one attacking spell. Especially because Weary Thrust is terrible here because we never get tired. Ooh. 
I feel like if I'm gonna use Thor to make it, I would like Bufudine and Zeodine if I could manage it. What about Lachesis? Like, we can make good personas, we just don't have the best, like, options for passing stuff on. Like, what's probably not helping is that, uh, this is almost tempting. Like, there's no attacking skill, but having high counter might be enough. Like, just having the ultimate defensive option. Configurations of skills we could pass on. We're just not seeing them. This one has Zeodyne. We'd be missing out on high counter. Can I live with missing out on high counter if we have Zeodyne? I think so. I think we go with this. Because I think part of the idea, at least for me, is like... We make Koryu, and then we can just like sit on it, buff, heal, suss out a weakness. And that on its own might be worth it. These ones I might just fuse to like get out, get them out of here because they are like 20 levels below uh, anything we can make at this point. And it would be more worth it to have like Raphael just as fodder for fusions. Although looking at this, uh, they don't make it anything particularly good that way. What if I did Bisha Mountain Odin make an Arahabaki or a Satan Taisei? Those are like the ones that speak out to me. And I think they're not good enough. And I think I've spent enough time fusing personas anyway. Like, I want to pass Spellmaster and Thunder Rain onto something better, but honestly, I think uh, I could live with just using Odin till the end anyway. And just being mindful of the fact that his stats are going to get outpaced. So if we have any, like, cards at the end, we use those on Odin. To keep the stats relevant. It did just occur to me... I don't know if I saved after I did the Persona stuff. Uh, I'm gonna head back and do that. Sorry if I'm like sniffling a lot. I've just been real stuffy lately. I don't know what it is.
hope I'm not coming down with like a cold or something. Now let's get ready to keep moving. Let's see, are we in new enemy territory? I think we are. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Okay, everybody's on knockdown. Let's have Metis go into Orgia mode. You nice shot. The enemy oh, that thing is not weak to physical attacks like it usually is. The to or at least that, like, weaknesses. enemy model. Or is it just weak to specific types of physical? It is. Okay. It's weak to every type except Pierce. That's almost funny. <laughs> uh, I almost think we take the weapon. That was not the weapon, but I will take a Persona. That's not a bad pickup. Medium Pierce damage to all foes. Two times or multi-hit. I think we keep the guaranteed two hits, right? That just seems like the move. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> My skills have improved. Fear surprise, you can get away. Yeah, let's run away. Usually these big one-person fights aren't worth doing, in my opinion. Four enemies. You give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Understood. Do I have any personas with like an all-target slash move? Oh, I have Raphael. Uh, let's actually do that. Just make this fight go that much quicker. Experience seems good. Better numbers is just generally pretty good. Uh, we're not going to bother with the double up. They're usually not worth it. My skills have increased. 
honestly, I'm gonna just go for it. Like, we'll fight enemies along the way and whatnot, but I think... I see no reason not to just try to get to the boss. Uh, let's actually switch back to Koryu, because getting Invigorate 3 will matter, or at least could matter. I forgot to set up her tactics, that's maybe fine. Ooh. Good job, Akihiko. Level 70. So we might actually be able to make that Susano uh, by the end. There are two of them. Attack. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Ooh. Okay, just a crit. They're not weak to it, but that's still pretty good. Nice job, Metis. I don't think the analysis even finished there, right? They just happened to figure out that they're weak to ice. Uh, Kum Honda is not bad. Yeah, I'll take that. What's nice about Odin having, uh, I forget which growth skill it has, but whichever one it has, uh, is that it's not going to be like totally irrelevant, even if I'm not using it, because it's going to keep getting stats. I would say it's still not preferable to a like new persona that just has its skills, but still good. Let's see if we can find the stairs without passing any small encounters. probably going to just finish this off, so I won't even bother trying to analyze it. Not great, but I'll take it. Uh, we know the eagle is like not weak to anything, so I'm gonna focus on that for my attacks and whatnot. Oh! 
That's pretty good. Honestly, just wait. It makes the combat slower, but it guarantees that we're not going to have to deal with anything uh, we don't expect to do. There we go. Money's not bad. There are two of them. Attack. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Understood. You won't escape. Activating Orgia mode. It's weak against electricity. Don't mess with me. I've been waiting for this. It's nice that the game is kind of throwing me some softball enemies after. Uh, how uh, that boss fight went earlier. I am going to, while we're kind of making our way through this, kind of pre-research the uh, upcoming stuff. Upcoming bosses, I should say. Oh, it's literally, at least one of these is just a straight up... Uh, Like one of the enemies is just a straight up fight. Like there's nothing. Yeah, all of these are just straight up big physical skills and uh, Hamamudo, good luck. <laughs> One of them even absorbs elemental attacks. That is how badly they are just like, punch this thing to death, please. <laughs> Flora has more enemies than usual. Oh no. Uh-oh. Stream might lag for a second. I think I just accidentally opened some software that I do not want to open. Yeah. Close. I just opened my old video editor by accident. Uh, maybe one of these days I'll get back to making YouTube videos. If I ever get not busy enough in the rest of my life, especially work. Maybe I'll get back to that. Uh, did I set Metis' tactics? I did. That's good. Right, she is not going to target their weaknesses because she is in Orgia mode. She's going to do her own thing. annoying.
Uh, let's go with that. Good one, Junpei. Ooh, that was one that was about to attack, too. Really? Really? I almost think it's worth uh, just taking some of these out. Like... Okay, this is actually a bad spot to be in. Like, our issue here is... Tell you what, let's... Get rid of the dice, because they are like the biggest threat to me personally. Let's attack this one that's almost dead. Okay, that's annoying, but I think we can still survive this. Yeah, we still survived. We're just not in an ideal situation right now with all of our party members almost dead. So let's revival bead, revival bead, revival bead, medicinal powder, medicinal powder, medicinal powder, and medicine, and medicine, and medicine. Let's see what's in the rare chest. Ooh. That sounds like a good sword for Jinpei. Oh. Oh. I mean, plus 10 strength sounds pretty good to me. That is nutty. Ah, oh, now Junpei's going to do that instead of hitting him with a sword. That's like what I wanted to see. Was how much damage this sword's going to do now. Like having a high crit rate seems really good. Uh, but just doing more damage, like baseline damage, seems pretty good. Ooh, ooh, that's for Ken. Unfortunate. Okay. These big guy enemies have been causing some trouble lately. Oh, that's bad. Strikes are useless against me. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target.
Yeah, let's do that. Just Dirahan Akihiko. Nice timing. If I start to feel like this is way too dangerous, uh, I'll back us out of here. Hey, guess what? It's starting to feel too dangerous. Let me see, you got one of those. Uh, not Triesto gems, right? Trafui gems? I think those are the ones. Oh, we don't. Escape? Yeah, there we go. That was risky. Uh, I probably wouldn't have played it so risky if I had, like, uh, known ahead of time that we didn't have any revival items. They're not revival items, running away items. I think I'm going to call that good. Yeah, I think those red enemies are just like too powerful to be worth our time anymore. They were good when we could like cheese our way through them. Now that we can't, uh, I'm probably just going to stop messing with them if I can. I guess we'll take the free hit. I thought that would kill it. I was mistaken. Thankfully it didn't set up like some crazy unbeatable combo thing uh, on its turn. Crusader, welcome back and thank you for the Prime resubscription four months. Uh, I just noticed my alert box does not show up, uh, or it did not show, at least on my screen, the amount of time. So let's move that maybe. Okay. How you doing, Crusader? Oof. Married to your job? I know the feeling. <laughs> it's, uh. I feel you. <laughs> oh, this is bad. We failed to escape. Uh. Oh, wow. Uh. Come on. Please just let us run away. There we go.
Oh yeah, Christmas is coming up. That makes sense. That that would be the like busy season. Uh, let's just go. For it. Oh my god, 12 to 14 hours a day. I th I think even the worst I've had it at my er, the worst I've had it at my job, I've worked 12 hours a day, but that, I, I feel for you. You have my sympathy. Ooh, plus five to all stats. That's really good. On a happier subject, I guess. Uh, oh, thank you. Uh, I like to think I'm improving on my streaming. Uh, what was I going to say? On a, on a happier subject, I don't think it was the last time we spoke, but one of the last times we spoke, uh, I remember you were preparing, or Plasticop was preparing for a, uh, like, gaming convention of some kind. How did that go, if that happened yet? Uh... Or if it hasn't happened yet, hopefully that's something to look forward to during or after the holiday season. Watch out. There are four enemies. Oh, yeah. It has multiple. Uh, what? I feel like I want to fight these things. It was halfway done at that time. Okay. Well, I hope it was fun. So they really just took out our whole squad there. Uh, oh, but they also literally can't kill us. Uh, let's just do this the slow way then. Uh, I'll rush and we can just keep talking while the game plays itself here. Uh, Better than uh, expected due to the COVID situation, but worse than normal. I mean, better than expected is still good. Uh, I would be surprised if any convention is doing like better numbers post COVID than pre COVID. Uh, 50% down. I mean, that's a lot, but that's not like, uh, whatchamacallit. Like, what's the word I'm thinking of? Like there was still people there. And uh, hopefully, you know, the important thing uh, is that like nobody got COVID or anything there, uh, which like that would be a good sign. I remember, uh, in, I think it was in the news recently, at least the U.S. news. There was like an anime convention in New York that had like ten thousand attendees, and then uh, one of them was positive for the newest COVID variant, the Omicron variant. So, I would say if that didn't happen and like there was no major problems with the event, like that's a successful event in my book. 
This fight is still going. semi lockdown again six days ago wow yeah that makes sense uh i think i read like um the u.s is tightening they're not going into lockdown again but they are like tightening the restriction or uh what's the word arms master is a really good skill uh, why am I like blanking on what I was trying to say? Uh, the U.S. is like tightening their restrictions on uh, travel into the U.S. I think it used to be uh, it's at least for citizens I know what it is. It's um, you need proof of COVID vaccination, and it used to be COVID test within three days. Now it's COVID test within 24 hours. Uh, the U.S. does take the rapid tests, so you're not like, you know, you don't have to get a PCR test and get it back same day, but similarly... Big cities are in a semi-lockdown with home offices. Uh, small towns and villages are just stricter on following the restrictions. That sounds like a, about what it is here, I would say. Uh, it's not like formalized at like the federal level. Oh, I should hydrate. Thank you for reminding me. Ooh, ad time. I'll run an ad. I'll actually uh, use this time to refill my water because I just uh, finished that. Uh, so tell you what, I will... Let me open up my Twitch dashboard. Okay. Uh, I will run a... I'm going to run a one minute ad break and go refill my water and I will be right back. Oh, is it already running? I think it's already running. Uh, Perfect timing. I refilled my water. We ran an ad. Thank you, Crusader, for telling me to run that ad. Now I probably got a whole half a penny or something off of that. But more importantly, uh, for viewers, uh, pre-roll ads would have just been disabled for some amount of time. I think it's like 20 minutes. So that's pretty sweet. There's one enemy. Uh Ooh, you 
can pet a cat. Uh, I don't actually remember if that's in the original Persona 4. There's, I think there's some type of quest to save a cat, but I don't know if you can pet it. That's pretty cool that you can pet a cat. You know, there's like, I think it's a website and like a Tumblr account and probably a Twitter account. Like the, can you pet the dog thing? I wonder if there's that for cats. I feel like someone has to have made that. Uh, let's do that. You know what, I'm gonna Google that now because I'm almost positive someone's made it a thing. There is a Twitter account. I was hoping for the experience, but I'll take the money. <laughs> My skills have improved. Three enemies. You surprised them. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Understood. Firing! Limiter, release! Now's your chance! Enemies to go! It's on! Take the experience. My skills have increased. I feel like we have to be getting close to the boss. How much more of this could there be? Oh, I should also... Oops. I don't know why, whenever I load my dashboard now, it like automatically tries to run an ad. Maybe it's just figured out that that's what I always open it for. Maybe I should have my stream dashboard open for like other reasons, but uh... Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna save. And then we're just going to go for it.
Ooh. The first recon unit in Civ 6 has a dog and an option to make the unit pet the dog. That's amazing. I have not played Civ 6 in a long time. Like, I think I played it when it came out, and I think now there's probably like a bunch of expansions for it. Uh, that kind of makes me want to play it again just to like uh, try that. That's so good. Most of the DLCs aren't worth it. You're getting close. Let's keep moving. Enemy. The battle royale mode and a pirate mode. The pirate mode does sound interesting. So I know from looking at these guys that basically this is just going to be a straight up fight. So I think I'm just going to put everybody on full assault. Uh, I'm going to Rakukaja everybody and we're just going to try to take them out before they take us out. Sixty turn online playing pirates in the golden age of piracy. I like the sound of that. Expansion scenarios are more. Honestly, like, I did play a lot of Civ 5, and, like, I feel like I remember the expansions to Civ 5 being really good. Like, they added a lot of, like, gameplay stuff. I don't know if that would be the case for uh, Give me a sec. 6. I haven't seen the expansions of 6. Ooh, like CO2 emission control. That's interesting. I like that it, at least it sounds like it's like... Like, I feel like the more stuff they add to, like, the Civ series, the more it's, like, Sim City, but also with, like, you know, combat, basically. I mean, I think the most fun ways to win Civ are the non-combat uh, victory things, but... Yeah, honestly, I feel like Civ, my honor. at least all, the two I've played are 5 and 6, I would say there's a lot of balance problems in the Civ series, like, uh, you know, you have all these different options of nations to play, which is cool from like a, I guess, like kind of roleplay or like world building perspective, but at the same time it's like, 
there are some that are just like so clearly the best spec for like certain victories that if you're like trying to play to win like you really just pick like you know uh like just pick the one that's good at the one you want to win at and yeah culture and religion are broken uh i think culture and religion are broken and then i think my thing is like I like the science and the tech trees in Civ. What I don't really like is like, it kind of feels like to get the like conquest victory, like the war victory, you have to have such a good like science anyway, that you may as well get the tech victory anyway. Playing to win play Samaria rushes in tech and culture. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Yeah, like tech and culture are like both basically necessary to pursue any other victory condition. So you may as well just go for those. Like you know, even if it's not like what you're going for you're probably gonna get it just from like uh you know the other ones every time you remove a barbarian camp you get a friendly village as well that's so busted. <laughs> like, that's so crazy. That's like, like you just get a city. That's, that's not okay. <laughs> also, that boss fight was way easier than the one that came before it. Uh, maybe once I get, uh, once I either get through or get sick of Pathfinder, uh, Kingmaker. Maybe I'll play a round of Civ if I can get it to run on my computer. That's a there's a big asterisk next next to that. Uh, so. Well, here's the thing. I play Pathfinder on my PS4. Uh, Civ, I have on my PC. Uh, and it tends to not run great on my PC, at least from what I remember. Uh, I don't know why I'm even checking this. I think the weapon shop only updates. Fixed that slightly. Okay. I'm also glad I actually checked this because it looks like there is actually uh, new weapons and they are like a significant upgrade over the current ones. get a wings of van we don't need apocalypse poison glaive uh, Gaia's grace Charon's hammer green gloves Maxima sniper we don't need any of that 
Oh, we have an extra final armor. Seven-year-old computer can run Civ 6 DirectX 11 almost without issues. Okay. That's good to know. So uh, my computer probably can run Civ now. Because the issue I always used to have with it wasn't necessarily like... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, it's not that it wouldn't run well at all, but like the longer it was running, the worse it ran. Just don't use DirectX 12, okay. So let's see, Apocalypse will replace with Galahad Sword, replace the final armor with Silver Plate. Replace that with Celtis. Replace the Jackadros with the Jeruri Tengu. Ooh, that does sound fun. Uh, I think I've tried to play Civ with people a handful of times and we never finish a game. Because even on like the fastest settings, we take like several hours just to get through like the early stages of the game. So technically the silver plate is better than Akiko's armor, but I kind of want to see the shoes before I commit. Yeah, that's true. Hundred hours save file in Divinity to add. That is a long. That's a long save file to have, like specifically with another person. I mean, I can't judge on the long save file front, but that is impressive that your schedules line up <laughs> enough to uh, play a hundred hours of a game together like two and a half years to get that far. That makes sense. Do I have any like items I can sell just to like make a 
to have more money? I guess not. So if I had to choose between new shoes for Akihiko and new armor for Akihiko, I feel like new shoes. I'm gonna go with new shoes and I may regret that. Let me see. Okay, the shoes are not a bad investment, at least. Like, I would prefer Like, I think the armor would have been something like a... I think they were both about a 10 point upgrade, but agility is, I think, the better stat to boost. I'm gonna save, because we just did a lot of shopping. And we have an hour left. I don't know if an hour is enough time to finish the game tonight, but I'm going to try. Because what I'm thinking about is like... I'm kind of back in the position I was in when we finished the journey that one time. Like, the final boss could be very easy like could we could get through it in like an hour or we could die a whole bunch of times and it could take like four hours uh and then i have no clue how long the ending like cutscenes and sections of this area are or of this uh chapter i guess you could call it uh i know for a fact they're shorter than the journey but shorter than the journey is like, you know, shorter than like two hours of ending cutscenes and whatnot. So that's, uh, that's not a hard benchmark to clear. <laughs> and the other thing I don't know is if there's like a point of no return where it's like, if I do all of it, I have to do it all in one sitting kind of thing. Basically, I'm trying to juggle in my head. I know there are like a series of mini bosses at the end of this that are not super difficult. And then there is the final boss, final boss. The thing I don't remember is how long each of those individual pieces are gonna take. Especially because clearing the rest of this dungeon is probably only going to take 15 minutes or something like that. Actually kind of torn because we need money but experience is always good i think i'm happy with the experience Ooh, that is pretty good i think i will get rid of charm d uh no that's our only attacking skill we're gonna keep that
Let's just revive everybody. I'm glad I bought all these revival beads uh, when we had the chance. I honestly almost wish I had bought more, but then we probably wouldn't have been able to afford all of the armor we got just now. Uh, I mean, that's a rare shadow that we're probably not going to get now. Let's just take the stairs. So, we're going to go on knockdown first of all. Normally I would try to rush this, but I want to make sure I attack that one first because we have a better chance at a critical on it. Oh, I forgot Metis can actually like target weaknesses and do things other than basic attacks. <laughs> There we go. That makes this fight a lot easier. Uh, awesome. Ooh, magic increased by five. Oh, we can finally use escape route. This late into the dungeon, we can find, or er, into the story, really, we can use escape route. Let Metis do her thing again. Because Metis is never really hurting for SP, and even if we get to the boss fight and she's low on it, we can always just use Orgia mode and she doesn't have to pay her costs. escape. Lots of big enemies around. Watch out! There are four enemies. Is Pierce okay against these things? It is not. 
Uh, let's just wait it out. Money's good. We need money. Three enemies. They all seem agitated. It has no That was a lot of damage. stairs here but that is a rare chest there are two enemies Firing. please don't hit anybody So we're getting experience or a persona. Let's try to get the most experience. And what's in here? Dragon fangs. Are these better than Akihiko's weapon now? I'll feel like I wasted a lot of money if that's the case. Uh, nope, we're good. I have no idea how the math works out on like stat boosts compared to the um, you know raw item numbers, but I feel like raw item numbers are probably better, uh, at least you know to a certain degree. Okay, I see the stairs here. I'm just gonna run for them. Okay, these things again. Honestly, might put Metis on knockdown for these. Uh, I don't want to risk running away, but I don't want... Uh, and I don't want them to get a turn. That's like the main thing. Honestly, I could take the swords and try to fight Reaper, but I feel like that's not a good idea. Like, I don't know what the Reaper gives you. Just a little more, you say? Only 
one enemy. You surprised us. It is a nice feature that if you get the surprise attack, you can run away with no consequence. Uh, I'm finding that feature very useful right about now. Um, I think we can sneak past. Okay. Okay, that's a rare treasure chest. I feel like we have to go for that. Talk to Metis. Talk to your sister. There we go. Is the Golden Crusher better than this? Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> okay, we're not gonna get the rare enemy. Double ziggurat. Ah. Is this where, like, everyone's ultimate weapons show up? Okay, I would like to run from this fight, please. Even though we didn't do the, like get the drop on him thing. I'm kind of tempted to look around the whole floor now just to make sure there's not... Okay, there's definitely not any other treasure chests and whatnot. Let's see. Oh! There is another save point here. This may be where the final boss starts. <laughs> Uh, because I happen to know from looking at the, uh, wiki that there's not another, uh, Tartarus, or whatever you call it, boss. At least I'm pretty sure it's not. Yep, this is it. Final area. Deepest part of the abyss of time? You think? It's no different than the rest of the ones we've seen. I'm turning up the volume just for this section so you can hear the dialogue a little better. Because it sounds kind of quiet to me. But that fits logically. Which means the abyss's origin, the reason for the time skips, is here. Oh, there's something I had to tell you all. It was in the papers about the Abyss of Time I mentioned before. Did you find something? If the report is correct, this place came into existence as a reaction to the creation of Tartarus. A reaction? The gigantic tower rising so high left a gigantic hole in its place. That's the Abyss. Does that mean they've known about this place for 10 years? They decided it would be harmless if left alone, since it would probably disappear with Tartarus. But it also said that since the Abyss is just a byproduct, there should be no shadows in it. Wait a sec. There's a friggin' ton of shadows here. And if it were supposed to go poof along with Tartarus, why are we standing in it now? Did they forget a decimal place or something? No, their logic makes sense. What was supposed to vanish is still here because of some force. One side's removal caused an imbalance. What could that force be? Who knows? Maybe it's somewhere down here. One thing's certain, though. It's deeply connected to all of you. What's up with that? 
What the hell did we do to deserve this? Well, there's another door. If that's here, then maybe... What's going on? Is that the big reason behind all this? If we leave out Igus, Metis, and me, whose past is left? Hey, yeah. Who else was there that had powers like ours? I wonder. Who cares? There's no use speculating with it staring us in the face. We'll know once we open it. Whatever that reason is, it's strong enough to keep the abyss of time from disappearing. And we've come to erase that reason. We could be in for a battle. We should be very prepared before entering. She's right. This appears to be our goal. Don't worry, we can do this. Spooky. I... I... am... <gasps> You're... to protect you I dedicated my life to that purpose but I can't fulfill that purpose anymore there's nothing more I can do can I continue to live this way does my life have a meaning <sighs> So, I wish I could return to being a mere machine. Don't look at me. But, well, I didn't expect that we get to see him again, although he did have his back turned. Indeed. What's it mean? That looked like it was Icus's memory. What kind of a clue is that? I guess didn't have to awaken to her persona abilities, right? But we did awaken to a new persona ability. No, she ability. did. She awakened to the special power he had. I guess what was that? When did it happen? <sighs> I always woke up to that. It was so painful to lose him. I withdrew into my room. Unable to do anything. For a while, I did nothing but chase after him in my dreams. I guess. Sister. 
But after a while, I stopped dreaming entirely. It felt like a weight on my chest lightened and fell off. That must have been the last of the dreams I had. But I don't see what that has to do with my awakening. Sister, are you still in pain? The person we saw, he's the one who had the same kind of power as you, isn't he? <sighs> so that's the big cause of all this? That didn't explain anything. Don't you get it? What we saw was only my sister's memory. But all of you want to see him again, right? Then the answer is obvious. What's that supposed to mean? What I said at the start was right all along. The fastest way to solve this would be to eliminate all of you. So, that means that figure we keep seeing is... Wait, something's wrong. Uh-oh. What the? Just as I thought. It's coming. The monster that's taken the shape of your regrets. Uh-oh. My stream cutting out? This would be a real bad time for that to Who's happen. That? Uh, let me make my internet scream at itself. That usually that fixes it. That sometimes fixes it, I should say. internet cooperate okay our upload is like struggling to get back to where it was I think uh, I'll just like sit for a second maybe let it like chill do its own thing come on spooky monster thing. This okay, I think we're back to normal now. Given form. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. So I think the move here is just Firing. attack it. I assume this is gonna like Strong against light, dark, and fierce. Athena. Hmm. That's our persona. Or at least what used to be our persona.
Oh, right. Uh, this is still like combat. We still have to do things to survive. Whoops. Uh, okay, well now we can like skip through all that cutscene stuff because uh, we know what happens in it now. And we also know he's probably going to target us with a bunch of strike attacks over and over again. So maybe I should switch to a persona that's strong against strike if I have one. I still think we could do it in time here. Or we might run a little late, but not like later than I am comfortable going. Proceed. And this time I'm going to hold down the fast forward button through the cutscene. I'm also going to crank the volume back down because I just realized uh, the combat sounds are going to be a little loud if I don't uh, turn that down. Ooh, even holding the like fast forward button, these are a little slow. And pushing the start button does nothing. We're almost there, y'all. In hindsight, I probably could have run another ad or something. But at this point, we're so close to starting the fight again, I won't do that to you.
this is okay. our regrets given form. Do we have any personas that help us with strike damage? Since we know he likes to do that. We do not. So I think we just give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Oh, and let's put everybody on full assault instead of knockdown, because I'm just gonna assume this guy can't be knocked down. Oh, this is actually very bad. Fight hard. And we can't mess with the tactics because we were knocked down. I think this time we're literally just going to lose because we got knocked down on the first turn. Please don't be me. Okay, we can work with this. We're not dead, so we can work with this. Uh, let's just go for a Medea Rahan. Let's not even, like, mess around with this. Interesting, he's like copying everybody's personas. It would be amazing if they cop if he uh, copied their weaknesses too. Actually, did his weaknesses change with the new persona? Is that a thing? It is a thing. So now fire doesn't work. Wait a minute, Caesar doesn't get that. That's not a thing. I have never seen Caesar use Thunder Rain. So do we have a persona that blocks electricity? Oh, we have Odin. That's probably pretty good. Like, I'm thinking, we don't want to get Thunder Rained for our entire life. So let's do that. Let's switch to Odin for now. And we can use a Bomb of Life on Metis. Get him. So 
So I would almost guarantee that he's going to switch personas, so I'm going to change up the tactics and heal, or not tactics, but change up my persona and heal everybody. Back to Athena. Sorry to keep you waiting. Persona. Uh, let's rock Ukaja, everybody. I'm assuming it's worn off since I did it the very first time. did that for everybody. Honestly, this one boss fight is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. I actually forgot about this one. Tell you what, uh, let's just use a medicinal powder on ourselves. We kind of need him to switch personas again before we can start attacking Azizus. There we go. Oh, that's bad. I still think the move is don't get hit by any electric skills ever if we want to stay in this. And now would probably be a great time to bomb of life off of Hiko while he's using his persona. Going next, so we just 
keep doing this. Persona changed. Okay, back to Athena. Okay, at least he crit somebody who was like already down. Okay, Persona switch, back to Koryu. Uh, let's use up the Bomb of Life though. Oh, that's bad. I don't like how high the crit chance seems to be uh, on Athena's moves in particular. We're gonna heal. Okay, a persona change. I would have preferred if you had just done a basic attack, Junpei. So we're going to Persona switch to Odin just to keep ourselves protected. And then we're going to, I think we're actually going to Revival Bead Akihiko. Because it's not like he's going to take any damage while Caesar is up. Next, we Bomb of Life Junpei. Revival Bead Metis. The thing that would suck here is if this persona change was to Athena and he were to follow everything he just did up with a AoE attack, but he didn't do that, so I think we're okay. Just out of curiosity, which one did he switch to? Okay, it's Trismegistus. I hope I pronounced that right. Okay, we'll make sure everybody's healed. Basically there, like, come on, dude. Honestly, I'm gonna risk it. Please do not punish me. There we go. Oh, that was a noise it made. <laughs> uh, we did it? E. Oh, that's horrifying.
was the monster born from us? But it was... Yes, its powers and form were familiar, but it was a shadow. You are correct. Wait, but that makes no sense. Persona users are supposed to beat shadows, right? What are you talking about? Don't tell me you've been fighting them this whole time without knowing. Personas and shadows are the same thing. That's why you're able to fight them in the first place. Did you all think that shadows were mysterious invaders or something? Shadows are the lower parts of the psyche everyone has. Suppressed human thoughts given physical form. When people are unable to face their darker selves, they break loose, free from all control. But sometimes, humans with special awareness contain their shadows. Those are Persona users. The Personas and Shadows, they're the same thing, just different names. If someone was able to create I wonder how much of Persona 4 had finished development by the t like like how finalized was Persona 4 by the time this game came out? Because like this was not a thing in the original you know Persona the journey like Persona 3 part. But uh this version of Shadows is like the lore they go with from here on out. So I wonder if this was like added retroactively in a way to tie three in with the other ones then that are go that were going to come out in the future. Personas? The shadow's power affects time and even space. Through your personas, your unspoken desires were manifested. You can't stand to see time move on. You don't want to accept your loss of someone precious. It was by each of your wishes that time stopped moving forward. And as a result, you became trapped here. So we trapped ourselves. Huh. Sounds like a plan. Whatever the reason was, we beat that thing. We won. That should solve all this, right? Yes, that is correct. If we return to the dorm, we may be able to go outside. Oh, what's this? When did I... Is this... a key? You should be able to leave using those keys. Once you make it outside, the abyss of time should disappear on its own. We got a key of time. Finally. Geez, I'm glad this didn't end up taking another year. But these keys, there's eight of them. That's because each of you played a part in bringing this about. The door probably won't open unless all eight are used at once. Strength of heart when united is barred by no door. Those words. So it'll open if we're all around, is that right? Then let's get the hell out of here. Uh, so are we just gonna waltz out through the front door? That door? Or another. There's still one closed door that doesn't connect to the outside world. The main entrance, or that door. It's one or the other. A door that doesn't connect to the outside world. Are you talking about the door to his room? I just assumed someone had locked it. That door has the same feel as the doors to the past we've been going through up to now. What do you mean by one or the other? If we open it, won't it just connect to another past? That's right. If you go through the entrance, you'll return to the present. But that door leads to the past. The past? 
the world of the past. You've all been there many times now. But this time, the abyss will disappear once he goes through the door. You'll be in the true past. Is that true? <laughs> why would I lie about something like this? If you don't believe me, then why don't you try leaving through the entrance? To accept the past or to revisit it. You're saying that in the end, we have to choose. What do you want to do? I'll go along with whatever you decide, sister. That way, I'll finally be able to save you from this cursed fate. To be honest, that's all I care about. Cursed fate? Which one are you going to choose, sister? I... <sighs> uh, hey, why don't we go back to the dorm first? This is way too heavy to decide right here. I agree. these cracks this is bad it's becoming unstable it should last a little longer but we don't have much time if the salt extends to the door we may not be able to leave even with the keys Just one thing after another, isn't it? So, uh, what's the plan? I mean, no one's seriously thinking about going back to the past, right? thinking why do you think she died they never figured out the cause of death at the hospital right well that's personally I still think it's because he used all his power to accomplish that In other words, we were saved because he gave up his life. He gave everything to us. So it doesn't seem right to undo all his work on our own. Ken Kuhn. I'm with Ken. We've all seen what kind of resolve it takes to face death. That resolve and what it brought about. There's no way we can cancel that out on our own whims. Even if it hurts, we have to deal with it and accept the present. Yukari, what about you? You're all about the here and now, right, Yukatan? I mean, you say it all the time. You gotta look forward. I... I want to go back to the time before the last battle. When I thought about how he protected us, I kept telling myself that I have to keep looking forward. That's why I started going to cram school and spending less time goofing off. But I can't lie to myself. If there's a way for him to come back, I'll take it, no matter what. Yukari. So, you're giving up? Are you saying you don't have the strength to face reality? Or 
After all the things we've gone through, you're just gonna throw in the towel in the fight against yourself? Oh yeah, you're really one to be throwing around all those high-minded ideals. If you really thought something was that precious to you, you'd want to protect it no matter what. Don't you understand? We can go back and fix things. Are you seriously just gonna let a chance like this go? Then I'll ask you this. If I said I wanted to undo your father's death, would you do it? Even if there was a way to reverse Shinji and Miki's death, I'd flat out refuse. Nothing in the past was a waste. You're just making excuses. <laughs> hey, you keep mentioning death. Are you saying the person who saved you all didn't just leave? Metis now is not a good time. Correct. He passed away. What? Why didn't you tell me before? Why? But you've never met him. Anyway, what do the rest of you think? I don't know. I get second thoughts when I think about going back to Winchidori again. I definitely see what Akihiko Sentai is trying to say. When you get down to it, though, I hate to say this, but I'm just too scared to do that battle over. What's wrong with you? Are you saying you're scared to die, but it's okay if he does? That's not what I said. I mean, have you really thought this through? Going back to before that battle means we have to fight Nyx again. Did you ever think about what might happen if we lose this time? It's the same thing. Either way, all it means is that you're just scared. And you two are no better. All that talk about accepting the present is because when you get down to it, you only care about yourself. What? How can you say that? No use going around and around like this. We're never gonna reach an agreement. So if no one gives in, we'll have to settle this another way. Another way? Yukari-chan, you don't mean... Taking the keys by force. That'll work too, right? It's true that the eight keys will merge if they're brought together, even against your holder's wishes. Now, Metis, why would you admit that? I'll protect my sister with everything I have. These keys represent each of your strength of heart. If you take my sister, she may lose her life. What do you mean? You're only thinking of what's best for you. The person with my sister's power died of unknown causes, didn't he? Did any of you ever stop to think that maybe the same thing could happen to her? I came to protect her. But I, I won't make another mistake. Metis. Aikishan, which door are you thinking about unlocking? I... I can't decide right now which is more important. The past or the present. So you're just gonna run away? Again? Just like the day we said our farewells to him, and you were the only one who didn't show up. You got to hear his last words. You even made him a promise. But here you are, still running. Why were you the one who inherited his power when you can't even make up your mind? I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna lose to someone like you. Yukari-chan, are you really going to fight? This decision hinges upon someone precious to us all. Our differences can't be settled with a compromise. No matter what Igis decides, we have no choice but to fight. 
And I made my decision as well. I'm going to stand with Yukari. Senpai. You're taking her side? Are you serious? I know you well enough to tell your mind's made up. All right. Everyone! It's decided then. Follow me. I'll lead you to a place suitable for battle. If we fight there, no one can steal the results. Hey! So just a heads up where I'm at, if we get an opportunity to save uh, before we get into this, uh, I'm probably going to save and call it here. Uh, but if we got to play straight through, we got to play straight through. Okay, so since we got a chance to save here, uh, and the fact that we are already five minutes over the usual end time for the stream tonight, I think we're gonna call it here because while we were sitting in one of those cutscenes, I looked up uh, the final boss fight of this area just to like get a feel for how long the fight itself is going to be and all of the youtube videos i found were like at least 25 to 30 minutes and so that's there and spoiler alert the final boss is after everything we're about to go through so it's like you know 30 minutes of just fight plus cutscenes at the end, cutscenes before, uh, all the stuff we have to do now where we have to fight the party members to make the choice. Uh, I think it'll be better to just put it off for a week and then if we get done super early on uh, next week Wednesday, uh, we can just start Persona 4 straight away. Uh, I, I will, I have this habit of promising to do things and then I forget to or don't have time to or all that other stuff but I really am gonna try to do like uh, I won't like stream it but I'll try to like test everything and make sure my computer can run Persona 4 and the streaming software at the same time because uh, that could be an issue if it can't uh, but that's a tangent basically we'll finish this next week probably start Persona 4 also next week so tune in for that. I'm still playing Pathfinder on Mondays, uh, specifically Pathfinder Kingmaker, the video game, not the TTRPG, uh, although it is based on that. And uh, yeah, let me see if anybody is live that we want to raid. Uh, Anybody playing Persona? Uh, there are a couple people, but I think we're just gonna Go ahead and call it a night here. Uh, yeah, I will see you on Monday. Catch you later.